So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create, uh, how you can um, get to know about the various outliers in your data, in your uh, different variables, and uh, how you can remove uh, the various outliers. So if you want to check it, then we have uh, uh, two or three uh, ways of checking it. The first way of checking it by using the graph box. So if you want to check it using the graph box then you will have to write the graph box and, and the name of the variable that is if I want to check for age then you can see here there are the various outliers present here in the same way if you want to check for the for any other variable then uh, for example graph box for any other variable like uh, Of assets in that case, also these are the various outliers present. So, your uh, outlier must be I, uh, all those things uh, which are out of this line and this line, these all are uh, these all are the outliers. Okay, and this is the from uh, percent this is from one percent to ninety nine percent this is one percent and this is ninety nine percent so from one percent to ninety nine percent range all those variables these are these all are uh, within the range of the data but uh, after this all these are the outliers okay so we have another method for this to find out the outliers the another method to find the outliers is using the histogram that is hist age so it will create this histogram Here, this histogram must be uh, must be normally distributed but if it is not normally distributed then it means that there are outliers present in it okay so You can uh, check it for other variables also, like uh, love of assets. So the histogram for it is this. It is also not normally distributed also, actually. Okay. So uh, we can check for the various uh, outliers. So another method is uh, using the another command that is <coughs> by using the spike plots. So spike plot h it will show you the profit it, it should also be on the dis distributed but if it is not then it is showing that there are outliers present in the data again okay, in the same way if you do it for the law of assets then again it will show you the various outliers and there are variables are not Okay, so if you want to remove these outliers, then what you have to do is uh, you what you do is uh, you have to winterize them. Okay, so we will use the winterize command instead are to remove those outliers so first of all you have to install this command and have to install if you want to install then what you have to do is you will have to use this command that is ssc install insert 2 okay and uh, you must have an internet connection and it will install the windows for you okay so uh, Windsor 2 will be installed and after that you can use it so uh, first of all uh, I want to clone my variables which I want to interact because if anything wrong happens in that case uh, I should be able to retrieve my data so uh, what I will do is whatever I uh, whatever variable I will visualize uh, for that I will create another clone also so if I want to create a clone for example for 
my age variable in that case what i will do is i will i will make the uh, variable I, I will make the clone of it and uh, that is not like and that is like uh, i will write here clone web and i will write the name of that uh, variable which uh, which will be used as a, as a clone variable okay so i am giving a name that is real age and uh, that must be equal to my age variable which is the origin variable okay so uh, uh, my clone variable that is named as real age has been created in the same way i will uh, make the clone of uh, other variables also okay now if i want to check uh, for the summary of for my this uh, variable then uh, I will use command uh, summary uh, or I, you can write as you also okay and uh, real age so it will give me the it will summarize my data okay so I will write here uh, and this one I have forgot this and uh, now my one person that is the smallest number is two and the largest number is 67 and uh, my one person to 99 percent these are the uh, these are the percentiles that is 5 and 59 okay so these are my my range this is my range for the data and now to uh, to vendorize i have used this command this is my command which i have used that is the the replace real age is equal to rp99 if real age is greater than or equal to rp99 and real age is less than the this point so what does it mean it means that if my uh, any of my value of real age uh, is greater than uh, is is greater than or equal to rp99 rp99 is this means if it is greater than 59 then convert it into 59 okay uh, because i have written it here that you should place real age any value of real age to equal to rp99 that is this value if the real age if any of the value of the real age is greater than 59 means this rp99 so if it is greater than rp99 then it will convert it into this okay so uh, so now this will create my variable and uh, and this is for the upper case and for the lower case also you can do the same thing toward this side so uh, if, uh, this is uh, you come to do it for the lower case then you will write here uh, replace real age is equal to r r p one if uh, real age is less than or equal to r p one okay and uh, real age is less than at this point so uh, the, so from the upper case and from the lower case from both the sides my all my outliers will be written as this value okay now, uh, my outliers will not be deleted these will get uh, replaced with this value or my outliers which are greater than this value will be written as 59 okay so th this this is done by the vengerize command okay actually this uh, um, box plot is like this uh, here all your values these all are uh, um, the uh, any of the values here outside this is uh, this is p1 and this p99 okay and uh, if there are values which are outside these are outliers here also these are the outliers and uh, the, this is the median value which is which is uh, from uh, which is q1 and q3 okay and minus 1.5 this value and plus 1.5 this value of q3 these uh, these are the out range and after this we have outliers okay
and here we can see that uh, our plot must be like this. It must be like this. So anything outside this is not required by us. Okay. So this is one way one way to do this. So this one was one way to do this. And uh, we have another method. So we have another method which is this one that is Windsor 2. Your variable name and uh, then replace cuts 199. Okay, what does it mean? It means that it will it will replace all your outliers from the lower as well as from the upper side okay and uh, all those outliers which were uh, below one percentile they will get converted into one percent and all those which were above 99 percent all these will be converted into the value of 99 percent so this is another method to use rise okay you, you write here windsor 2 and then the name of the variable and then replace cuts 199 okay so this is a method by which you can create the uh, you can winsorize your variables okay so this way uh, the, uh, in this way you can visualize your data and your outliers will be removed so i hope you like my video thanks for watching